Welcome back to Investor Intel at PDAC 2018. I'm pleased to be joined today by Oscar Joffrey. Oscar, you are just on a tour right now called the Wild Wild West Tour. Tell me what that's about. Well, the Wild Wild West Tour is really about the uh, blockchain revolution mm -hmm. and how it's really shocking the waves around the financial markets. Everybody's getting a frenzy of Bitcoin this and Bitcoin that, uh, cryptocurrencies. And it's created a very cowboyish style of approaching how to buy them, sell them, and operate. And like any type of environment like that, you're going to have some strays. And we've, um, we've gotten that, to that stage now. So part of this tour is providing an educational framework about what's actually happening, how to prevent it from occurring, and how do we move forward. Because the underlying technology behind all this it's here to stay, it's not going away. So whether the cryptocurrencies are going to zero or not, which I happen to believe, but a lot of people don't, <laughs> yes. you know, um, you think that uh, the blockchain is just a, a key, key part of the internet oh, moving oh, forward? hundred percent. And, and even more exciting, there's not just one chain, there are different types of chains. And each one of them have particular attributes that depending what the type of company you are, that attribute could be enhancement. So. And finally, because of cryptocurrency, it's accelerated the advancement of companies adopting it. I mean, in many ways, I, I agree with you, crypto is going to zero. But in many ways, what it did for the rest of the world, it woke everybody up and saying, wait a minute, there's something really solid here. And so from that perspective, I'm excited. Look at cannabis. Right. Cannabis is perfect example where blockchain was a meant uh, technology to be in and the federal government decided to build its infrastructure using blockchain because we know now that whatever goes in there is never going to get erased it's never going to get uh, deleted that's fantastic so it you know our, our audience are investors what should they be looking for if they're going to invest either in cryptocurrencies or in the blockchain well, so there are, there are two different types of investments occurring right now. So if you're a currency player, you're buying Deutsch dollars and, and so forth in American dollars, I keep playing it. There's another ride about to occur in cryptocurrency. Okay. So which means that you will see another spike. Mm -hmm. And when that spike occurs, I, I'm not a predictor, but it will occur. Uh, it, we are determining that at that point, the regulators are going to step in and say enough is enough. Okay. It's time to regulate you. It's done. And the reason for that is because what people don't realize, 97% of all the cryptocurrency in the world is controlled by a few group of people. So they are, in some ways, manipulating the price very easily. So because of that, the regulators are only going to allow to a certain degree. So you have to be careful what you're doing. Get some advice. You know, is Bitcoin better than Light or Dash? It's neither here or there. What you need to get comfortable with, this is pure, 100% risk. There's nothing backing it. Now, the only one would be an exception to that would be Venezuela <laughs> with their uh, coin, which is backed by oil. The other side that they need to look at is tokens. This is the other one that became a frenzy in 2017. Uh, over 3,500 companies went out there calling themselves coin offerings, but they were actually selling tokens in their company. Okay. So the difference between a token and a coin, coin is a currency, a token is an extension of the business. It's a digital uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, piece that you own. You don't even own a piece of the company, you just have a right to something. What could it be? It could be uh, you get a share of the revenue. Uh, but there was such a frenzy, people buying and selling, and the value of these tokens kept going up like in the stock market, and the regular said, whoa, wait a minute. Were these people even qualified to buy? I mean, so there's the Wild Wild West side. So there's a, everybody is using this technology for all these different elements, and unfortunately, some investors are gonna get hurt. So, rule number one, if somebody's trying to sell it to you, and it's in an offshore com country, which is most likely where they all are, you, the likelihood that you'll lose is 100%. Two, uh, that when you're asking what type of uh, uh, currency or coin or token they're selling you, uh, has it been registered with a regular? And they go, oh, no, no, we don't need to. Run. <laughs> uh, it, it, so these are the big signs out there. 
there are legitimate companies that are building, uh, that are selling their tokens um, and raising capital for their blockchain companies because there is a huge opportunity. I mean, we're just at the early stages of what this thing can do. Well, that actually was my next question. I'm a baseball fan, so what inning are we in? in the, first of all, in the cryptocurrencies, and second of all, in blockchain? Yeah, that's a good question, what inning, right? Uh, you know, I would say we're just getting ready to go out bad. Okay. Because, it, because now we've had the craziness, right? And sometimes you need craziness in order to bring some conformity into a market. So, but along the way, yes, and, and I'm saddened by this, but at the same breath, I, I carry this forward that, um, yes, a lot of people lost a lot of money, mm -hmm. or they're about to in, in, in this process. But going forward, we now know that the technology is the reason why they got caught as fast as they did. So going forward, we now have a foundation that everybody loves. One thing about blockchain in general, what people must they enjoy about it is that it's, it's trustless, it's immutable, it can't be erased. So you know that if it was Darren who went in there, made that transaction, it's you. You can't lie. So you're, the, the process of getting investigated on is go ding, 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 it's fast. Uh, two, what does that tell you? Now we build it into people's minds that I can trust this immediately. I'm really glad you came in, Oscar. I'm sure we're gonna talk about this further on upcoming episodes with Investor Intel because it's awfully topical. So thank you and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Likewise, thank you. Cheers.